So I see this as a huge project, project for all of us, not just for one laboratory, not just for several people, but for all of us. Look, um, now, just now, we have uh, more than 100 people who was uh, with our, uh, at our Congress. Later on, we put this on YouTube, it will be thousands of people, more than thousands. It will be 7,000 people. Then, of course, it will be increasing. So now uh, I want to propose a new project. Let me show you, share my screen. Okay, here it is. Okay. Uh, you remember I've shown you this bio mini device. And uh, I told you that it's our new development that is ready. We have it. And it will be on on the on the market, I would say, on our website uh, later on uh, this summer. Uh, of course, um, we need to do a lot of marketing, a lot of uh, ideas to apply how to move it forward. And as I've told, we'll have three main lines, consumer line with this little device, professional line, and customer line for some companies. And you remember, Yesterday it was a presentation of uh, uh, Christian Border, who uh, is using just this customized design for their own products. So we created uh, for him this program. So we can do it for everybody. And what we can do together? First of all, if you are professional, if you are consumer using mini device, you can use Sputnik. And with this new Sputnik, it will be very, very convenient because it's much more convenient to use. It is simple, it is a little in size and also. Then you can take measurement at any place now because you don't even need computer, you have your mobile phone. And this Bible mini device is very with Sputnik. Uh, and I did many experiments with him, uh, with it. Oh, you remember I've shown you yesterday our experiments in Altai Mountains. It was all done with Sputnik device. Then uh, it was some uh, presentations in those days again with this Sputnik device. And it is very reliable because my first patent on Sputnik was in 2006. I patented this, uh, but only in Russia, that meta. Now it's uh, well, everybody can do it. So it's no limitation. So my idea, all of us will take this Sputnik and make pyramids. Because if we talk about pyramids, we did some measurements around pyramids in Bosnia, in Egypt, in uh, Siberia. Uh, other people did a lot of measurements, but we don't have the whole understanding what does it mean to be around pyramid. Because again, in the pyramid, we have bottom, we have top, we have some levels, and they all may have different meaning. Sam was able to measure beam coming from the top of some pyramid. It's a huge beam coming to the hospitals. We've been measuring at the top of different pyramids. And the, uh, you remember, Sam, we've been measuring at the top of moon pyramid, at the bottom of moon pyramid, with great difference. But again, it was just random measurement. My idea that we can, we need to do this on a regular basis. We need to do it all together. Uh, so if we agree, uh, then um, we can create even a special account for pyramid measurements, and it will be open account. Uh, so let's uh, name it pyramids. And then everybody can go to this account, take their own measurements, and then uh, we can make processing of the data. Very important. Um, you see, the advantage of this Bible device, mini device, that as we are measuring with mobile phone, we can detect uh, the uh, geophysical position, geoposition of the telescope. You understand, you know, how, so with any mobile phone we can do it. 
With uh, computer, it's much more complicated, so it's not so easy. With mobile phone, we have this uh, location. So that's why we'll know location, but of course, it's much better if you put down in the uh, description where it was in which location. Very important for us to follow up a different cycle because we understand that we have different cycles of sun activity, moon activity, and again, I'm absolutely sure it will be these cycles of activity. So, for example, for uh, in Bosnia, it would be excellent to have some uh, Sputnik somewhere and to take measurements on regular basis. Then we would see the influence of this uh, environmental station to uh, to energy, mm. and we would see it, uh, whether it is really something or it is just some radiation. Um, then, of course, we need to have uh, measurements if we are measuring nearby pyramids. Then, of course, we need to have some, um, I would say, base measurements, for example, nearby hotel. So, if you are in somewhere in Bosnia, in uh, Mexico, in Bolivia, Peru, or so on, then you are measuring in your hotel, then you are measuring in your background. And I want to show you one more topic. Okay, now you see this is my uh, screen of my program. And uh, we have two ways how we can measure uh, this. Uh, for example, I have several measurements of Bosnian pyramids. It was from 2018. From my last video. Okay, let's take those measurements and send it to compare. No, I don't think this one. This was uh, 829. Okay, then uh, let's take, uh, for example, hotel. Yes. And let's take two moves bottom and up top. Okay, now we go to compare and we compare all the way. And you see a really big difference. So, hotel is here. It's a huge difference with all other measurements. Uh, two moves top, it is here. Two moves bottom, it is there. And in the beginning, I was surprised why we have the difference, why at the top we have lower energy than the bottom. Now, to me, it's not so surprising because, again, um, we don't understand the principle of pyramid operation. The main idea, okay, it should be top, it should be crystal, it should be some emanation, but we have a very good idea that pyramids have influence around that they were designed to change environmental state around us. And what uh, Sam is men was mentioning about this COVID <laughs> situation, I'm so happy to hear because I am absolutely sure after being around the pyramid, after being in tunnel, you have this healing energy, powerful energy. That is why you look so great. <laughs> that is why you didn't have any problem, same as all your people, that's important as well. It is much more powerful than vaccination, much more. So again, we need to understand this. We need to understand where do we have the most potential energy? At the top, at the bottom, somewhere else? Because um, I am um, sure that your tunnels, it's absolutely different. Tunnels, that's why different. It's very, very special construction, and uh, still it will take a lot of time for us to understand what it's all about. Um, so that is why when we collect this data, more and more data, we would be able to understand the principle of pyramid activity. And at the moment, except of Sputnik, I don't see any other instrument which would allow us to make it in affordable, simple way. Because in one day, you can make hundreds of measurements. Uh, you see, typical measurement takes about 10, 15 minutes. And we have now another way how we can 
Uh, we can have these graphs or we can have this uh, cloud. So this is, uh, uh, it shows us standard variation of the signal as well. And you see, it means how stable the signal. And uh, on the pyramid level, it's practically the same, but at the hotel it was much more variable. And we know the more stable the signal of positive measurement, the more it is beneficial for health. So again, one more information. At the same time, we can have another way of measuring. Um, okay, so this is how I did this measurement in um, Altai area. Okay, so let's, you see, it was uh, with one finger mode only. With, uh, done, it was done uh, 20 minutes. That's again, very easy. And then again, we can make comparison with those data. And you see this way. So it's another way of presentation data. But again, you see clear difference. Because this, uh, those uh, black, it shows us the level of variation. And this is the average. So it's again, it's actually clear where it was the highest energy. I've shown this graph. Um, at my presentation, and sometimes this graph is even more clear, more precise than the previous graph. And again, it's even simpler because it takes only 20 seconds. You take click, 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 20 readings. And uh, it's much faster. And if you need to operate a long time outside with mobile device, with this method of 20 clicks, it will be much faster. So this way, uh, as I've shown you, we see, uh, and we can, of course, look like this, but this is not so clear, and this is absolutely clear. So, uh, OK, so uh, you see, so we have technology. We have instruments. We have new instrument mobile device now, which gives us new options for this type of uh, research, this type of study. And I suggest all of us to join in this activity. So again, we create this uh, open uh, account uh, pyramid, and everybody who would have this Sputnik device, this or is it viable, mobile, or professional, would be able to join us in this activity. And then after maybe one, two, three years, we create it. We would create really great, fantastic uh, database. We would be able to make analysis, statistical analysis based on the artificial intelligence. And then, uh, of course, uh, we can publish it. We can make even a book. <laughs> yes, because Sam, uh, he has many, many books, maybe 20 or even more. Yes. Um, so that's why it's not, uh, it's quite possible. And one more topic, of course, of course, I'm excited about your idea with the different tunnels. Really excited. That's great. In tunnels, um, uh, we can make measurements with offline because, again, we don't need connection for, to take measurements and then to make analysis and to take measurements in different parts of the tunnel, because we did several, but it was quite a few. But if we do it on a regular basis, we can create energy map of your tunnel system. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful idea. Mm -hmm. So this would be really very interesting. And then you would understand to, to which, and you would be able to compare with the effect on people. So people will come to different parts of the tunnel, and you will know which energy they have, which level of uh, negative ions they have. And then, of course, you will be able to more uh, precisely administer people to different uh, positions of the tunnel. Seems to me that's a very interesting idea. And then you can give people just leaflet with this map of a tunnel, map of pyramids with just indication of different energy and different effects of this energy. Yes. 
as uh, Sam, he's a great scientist and uh, he is able to, you are able to combine many people around yourself, <laughs> the right people yourself, then I'm sure with your energy it will be a very interesting uh, project. We will do it and I will have two of you, you and Dmitry, in Bosnia. This mm -hmm. season or the latest next season, I like the idea to check you know, different energy points to make, to make the energy map because we can see in some parts of the tunnels is less negative ions in some more. Different electromagnetic fields, why is that? How different frequencies and different fields and different strengths affect human health. Does it mean that being in this part of the tunnel is good for certain, you know, diseases or sicknesses and things of that nature? And then maybe check other places, like you said, tumulus, moon pyramid, sun, other pyramids, the city, so we can show the difference. Yes, like absolutely. That. So in principle, uh, you can offer uh, people who come uh, to your place to get uh, by a mini device, to rent it or to buy it from yes. you, and then to go and join this type of measurement. Well, I will probably hire the physicist or someone who understands the, you know, the topic, and then we'll, we'll do that. And then, yes. uh, Konstantin, you know, once we cover the Bosnian pyramid complex completely, then with the better understanding, we can do the same thing for the Giza pyramids and their underground tunnels, for the Teotihuacan and their underground tunnels, for Palenque, the same thing. And of course, some places it's restricted, especially Chinese pyramids, but I think that with certain, you know, letters and permissions, we could get it. So we can compare different places. If we get the same results, it will tell us a lot about the knowledge of the builders, if they were connected, if they have the same concept or not. So it, it opens up the completely new field the pioneering work. As you know, Egyptologists, archaeologists, you know, they look for pieces of ceramics, primitive tools, but the pyramids are much more than that. Yes, absolutely. So we understand that to get some ideas about prehistoric civilizations that we have no doubts uh, they did exist, uh, maybe 40,000 years ago, maybe yes. more, um, to get, uh, we need to get into their mindset because there are no, um, I would say, material topics that we can find in your tunnels. It was practically no material topics, just some, some pieces, and pieces uh, came from the latest uh, yes. civilization that closed it. Uh, yes, same was I've been um, in the tunnels under Kehoe Keho countries. You've been there, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you remember that, again, there are thousands of subjects, thousands, but they all belong to the latest civilization. They closed their, this, those times, but not to original civilization. Was correct. This That's time. correct. And even some sculptures that was found there, we can't define their age because this was a stone. So, but uh, again, but my idea that uh, if we combine not only science, not only our own efforts, I would be happy to come to you again. <laughs> it's a great pleasure, always a fantastic experience. Uh, but uh, to uh, attract many, many people who have no scientific background, but we can teach them how to use, how to press buttons and send data to our joint account. And then we as scientists, we can make an meta-analysis. And if we have not 10, not 20, not 100, but thousands of measurements, then it will be really powerful data. Then we come to next level of understanding what does it mean pyramids, what does it mean the ideas, what it is at the base, whether it is at the bottom or what. So um, I think with our team, we will prepare this and offer <laughs> to everybody, to all our teams and to everybody around. 
uh, now we have new options and now we can really move forward on bigger scale. Uh, and then, of course, uh, I'm sure that it will be possible. Last one more topic, uh, not uh, maybe the last but not maybe the least. This mobile device uh, would be, of course, much cheaper than professional device. We plan to have it uh, the price of this of 499 US dollars. So it will be available to everyone. It's the same price as mobile phone or even cheaper. And it would allow people to follow up their condition day by day. Let me show you one more topic. You see, this is, um, you see this graph, yes? This is graph done by one of our uh, colleagues who uh, did her measurements with this mobile device during the day. So this is morning. She just woke up. Then after Reiki session, you see stress level drop down. Then after Kundalini yoga, it's increased. After, uh, because you, you know that yoga, it's, uh, it's not just meditation, it's totally different complex. Then uh, she was running five kilometers. And again, she had practically the same level of stress. Then she, after this, uh, it was 11. She had some activity. Then she came to spa. And you see, after spa, it dropped down. And it came practically to the same level as after it. Then after, uh, in uh, one more hour, after dinner and 15 minutes rest, uh, it even dropped down even more, you see. And then uh, you see it, is, it was at, at night, she was participating in some uh, session, uh, meditation session, and then it came lower and lower. So you see it's during the day, and then people understand what's going on with them. What's going on uh, at every moment of their day, and what's beneficial. And it shows us, for example, this showed me tremendous power of our nap <laughs> after lunch. <laughs> I like it. And I always tell people that lunch is not just uh, in a hurry. It's not on the drive through. It's very, very important moment. So again, so this is the way how people can use it without deep understanding what's uh, all about, what's feeling. Of course, if they are interested, they can move forward on this at scale. So that is why uh, at this Congress, I want to uh, propose next level of our viral development. And I'm actually happy that now we have Finally, we have people from Africa with us, from uh, Burkina Faso. <laughs> Glad to hear, hear, have you with us. Absolutely, thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy because uh, we actually have very little people from Africa. Now, finally, we are moving forward to this. Thank you. And uh, so now we are moving to big expand to people. And now we can really demonstrate people the power of their own energy, the power of their own mind, the power of meditation, what we've been talking about uh, all those days. Because when people can see this on their own energy field, on their own chakras, when they can uh, follow up their transformation during the day, day by day, then uh, they have tremendous effect and then they understand what they should do in their life. Then they tell other people, other people, and it comes like suffering. And then this would allow us to make our world a little bit better, because this is the goal of our team. Not just to um, produce some influence, no. We want to make our world better. We want to make people more happy, to make to increase their well-being. And only then people can really create beautiful life around themselves and uh, enjoy their life. That's very, very important. 
So I hope that uh, this Congress will help at least a bit in this field. We have really big plans for next year. Uh, you've seen that uh, I'm really happy to hear that Sam that you had more and more visitors, and even this this year is fantastic, really fantastic. It shows us that people are not afraid. More many people, of course, some people sit at home they are in isolation. Uh, some people don't go outside, but there are many people who are not afraid and who understand. If you have strong energy. If you are doing your life happy, then you are in need. If you are afraid, if you are sitting at home, then you are vulnerable. And we have many, many cases when people were sitting correctly for two years, then they came out with vaccination and they became winners. So it's much better to go and visit same with the road tunnels <laughs> than to go. <laughs> get some medication okay very good thank you so much for the beautiful presentation and thank you everybody because today was very very interesting day in all the presentations from and you see it was from all over the world it's interesting again so we have this movement as yesterday our colleagues from brazil told us that now it's worldwide movement with this integrative approach to health the well-being, um, and we see during those two days we had presentation from people from all continents, and it's amazing. That is really amazing.